Good Wednesday afternoon to you. Hope your day's going well so far. I'm Mike McDaniel to the tropics now. Helene is officially a hurricane. We are looking live at Cancun, Mexico, where Helene brought heavy rain and strong winds this morning as a tropical storm, but is now making its way towards Florida as a hurricane. And before it gets there, it's expected to become a major storm. Let's turn now to meteorologist Alexa Trishler with the very latest on the path. Has anything changed with this at all? Well, it's pretty similar. We, we've been talking about how it's going to become a major hurricane. That's still the thinking. It's going to be a strong category three, maybe a category four when it makes landfall in the big bend of Florida tomorrow later in the evening on your Thursday evening. So no impacts from this here at home, but it will be a significant rain, wind and surge event for Florida. Seeing it right now, it has become a category one hurricane as of this morning. Sustained winds at 80 miles per hour, those gusts up to 100 miles per hour. So it's expected to go uh, undergo rapid intensification over the next 24 hours up to a category three by early tomorrow morning. And then again, maybe on the cusp of a category four when it does make that landfall sometime tomorrow evening. So again, big surge numbers for the west coast of Florida and the Big Bend. Big rain and extensive wind damage is expected for the Big Bend of Florida getting into later tomorrow. And then the rain and the wind threat does extend into South Georgia. There's going to be significant rain for parts of the southeast. The southern Appalachians will be seeing some serious flooding from this getting into Friday and early Saturday. Here at home, no local impacts expected. It will be a little breezy tomorrow. We'll be on the west side of it. It's actually going to bring us some lower humidity tomorrow and Friday. Today we actually have a front coming in giving us a few spotty showers across the North Shore and South Mississippi. So here are those showers for uh, parts of our North Shore and South Mississippi. Now we'll see a few more as we go into the afternoon and we look ahead to quiet days the rest of the week. We'll talk more about the tropics in just a bit. All right, Alexa, thanks. Of course, Western Florida bracing for the impact as Hurricane Helene moves through the Gulf. As Alexa was just showing us, landfall expected in the state's Big Bend area tomorrow with at least Category 3 intensity. CBS's Jason Allen has the latest from Florida's Gulf Coast. Along Florida's West Coast, residents are boarding, fueling, and filling up before Helene's potentially dangerous hit. In Tallahassee, Dorothy Richardson is getting ready to hunker down with six of her grandchildren. Either which way it go, I need to prepare. Get my sandbags, got my coal, got my lighter fluid, got my propane tank. Meanwhile, Russell King is preparing to evacuate his Mexico beach home. He says the house barely withstood Hurricane Michael in 2018. We lost our shower, we lost our elevator, we lost all of our ground floor, floor walls. We think we're okay with these now, but you know, we don't know. 125 miles an hour, they get blown out. Governor Ron DeSantis has declared a state of emergency for most of Florida and mandatory evacuations are in effect for some living along the coast. You can hide from the wind and there will be significant wind on this storm, uh, but you got to run from the water. Tallahassee Mayor John Daly says the city is doubling its workforce with crews from other states coming in to help restore power and deliver aid to the area after Helene hits. You are used to hurricanes. When you see a storm track like this, though, how much does it concern you? Uh, it's very concerning. I'm from Tallahassee. This is my hometown. We have never seen a storm of this magnitude that could possibly be a direct hit to Tallahassee. Right here along the water, busy marinas are empty this morning. People have been moving boats and everything else away from the water. And this is a community that is still dealing with damage from Debbie from last month and from Hurricane Adalia from last year. Jason Allen, CBS News, Stenhatchee, Florida.